Well, Hollywood's dream is John Waldron's nightmare. At least that's what he calls this virtual world made for two. A video game where the players are on the inside looking out. Now the boys are here. I've got a joystick. That's I've got a helmet. That's right. And you just put the helmet on like that. Right. And of course you see that you have a gun in your hand. And to fire the gun, you simply press the trigger. And I'll uh, get in and join you. Okay. Come into my world, John. Linked by a computer that tracks our individual motions, Waldron and I are now both inside the same electronic world. There you are. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> the game board consists of several checkerboard platforms floating in space. The goal, to chase and shoot your opponent. I've got the gun in my hand here. I hate to do this to you right now, but <laughs> I missed. It lobs down. We've, we've made gravity twice what it should be. You're gone, John. Your history. <laughs> As the game proceeds, two prehistoric birds slip into view. If one picks you up by the scruff of your neck, the sense of flying can be all too realistic. You're I'm a little worried edge. about that flying pterodactyl at this point. Oh, here comes the bird. Where is that bird? He's got you. He's got you again. Ah, he got me from behind. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I think I have to take this helmet off. I'm physically feeling the spacer for a second. <laughs> oh, my God. While I was playing the game, it seems virtual reality was playing a trick on my mind. The pictures and sounds around me were all that was necessary to convince me I was walking, flying, and falling. The visual display at the moment is crude. There are these crude, cartoon-like characters. That's not the issue. The fact of the matter is, in virtual reality, there is no limit to what we can do. We can be anywhere, anytime, any place, and uh, it's really that's the issue, it's total escapism.